Pretty sure I saw that vehicle yesterday in the Walmart parking lot. That's Johnny Cash, and that is one piece at a time here on Just Another Morning Show. You're listening on Shotgun 971, and you're listening on Classic KYMO 105.3, and it is a Go Simo Fiber, Simo Electric, Wednesday chat time here. Becky behind the camera on Facebook Live. Good morning, everyone. Yes, I'm wearing a Willie Nelson t-shirt. Lloyd is sitting over here, Lloyd and Rice. And Reed, I was going to tell you, admittedly, um, on the way in this morning, I was listening to a different radio station, <gasps> 97.1, powered by Go Simo Fire. That's exactly right. Thank you for that. You had a great splash page on the website there. Um, it's uh, love the partnership being able to put that out there. Shotgun Radio 971.com. You can pick up the stream there right. with Go Simo Fiber. It's Fiber Radio. Uh, it is. There you go. Sure. It's, it's Fiber <laughs> Radio. It's, it's a great way to put it. It is fiber radio. So you're simulcasting your morning show. Yes. Okay. Because yeah. you've got that uh, that talent. Well, um, you know, it's it's paid a for already, right? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> the talent six, on the, loan. Right. The six to ten talent is paid for, um, so use them, right? It, it, you know, it's it, it's interesting because it's uh, it's been humbling over the last several days, you know, and, and a lot of help went into this. Um, um, from our good friend C.J. Cruz, yep, yep. Uh, Tom Collins, you know, coming in with all the other, and in the, in the input from other people, you know, talking and this and that, but hearing, you know, the feedback, uh, you know, because look, you know, there's a lot of people out there that are rock and roll. There's a lot of people out there that are country, and then there's people like us, or me at least, that I'm a little bit of all of Kind it. of a hybrid mess, yeah, right? Yeah. yeah, and that's kind of what yeah. Shotgun Radio <laughs> is, if you listen to it at all. You know, you're liable to hear uh, ZZ Top and Patsy Cline. Right. You know, pow, pow. Right. Very um, cool. Kind of, it's, it's kind, kind of, of a little bit of a Texas. There is that thing. Yep, there's going that, on. Uh, right. flipped in there with Robert Earl King, yeah. Stony Larue, Jason Bowen, and the Stragglers. Not unlike what we've done with 105.3, where we right. started up classic KYMO, where you're going to hear the hits that you would have heard on the radio back in the '70s, right. '80s, and even in the '90s. Before everything got segmented, you had to be a certain genre of music. And right, just not... and, and a real, uh, again, local feel, and you know what yes. that means to us. Kind of, you know, it's it's Reed doing his show at his station, and, and, and not his. I, right. I, I know, I know what you a, mean. Yeah, I know uh, what you mean. But a, a real local flair to it, right? making sure everybody knows what's going on in right. East Prairie and the surrounding area, That's by the exactly way. Right. Big, what, a, what a great weekend Dogwood Azalea Festival is, by yes. the way. Yes, yes. Um, it is going to be everything's peaking. We were talking about that just right. a minute ago. You know, I've been driving around. You've seen them. The right. dogwoods have popped. You know, the so peak so the things sky. you can count on. Uh, yeah. Joe Crane. Um, no no storms between now and then, no. right? Because because no. those peaking blooms are rather uh, right. delicate, right? In That's this right. one two week period. So we're good to go there. Azaleas are popping nicely, as, along with several other flowering. You know, type things this time of year. Yes, I'm holding a water bottle. Flowering um, type things. That's flowering awesome. type things. Yes. Um, yeah. or, or plants. <laughs> hey, look, when you say but, thingies, it covers such a wide range. What, and, and other than the wind, Reed, we, nobody can complain about the weather this spring. <laughs> other than the wind. It, it has been too windy, and I'm just coming off the uh, back end. Forgot to take my allergy pill this morning, <laughs> so that's going to haunt me around 11 this morning. But... Um, other than the wind, what a great uh, spring for farming. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and and that, a little bit of a segue read into uh, people are real busy in the yards. There's a lot going on. Yes. If uh, if you can get another person crushed into the local uh, Lowell's Menards, you know, you name them, uh, garden centers and sure. co-ops and, yeah. and all that. See um, that. Um, Orsland and, and the farm stores. Um, what, a, what a great time of year. And to be coming out of COVID, you know, the, the COVID-19 stuff, what, what we're, we're looking forward to some good stuff this spring and summer. Um, nonetheless, which is uh, Dogwood Azalea Parade this right. weekend. You got that coming up? You, you guys said you're going to be there? We're going to be we're there. We're going to be there. That's right. You know, I'm starting to call this last year of, and, and any of you that are Marvel fans and have watched the Avengers movies or any of that stuff, I'm calling what's happened recently in the last year the blip. Yep, there you um, go. 
and you know the Coco One Nine, all that thing that's happening. We are seeing some really good right. statistics. We're seeing some very positive Absolutely. news come out. Listen um, to some of the 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 guests you've had on talk about sure. that. Yes, you know, yeah. and, and and we're there right now. So you know, still be safe, and you know, it's out there and, and things. But uh, you've got Dogwood Azalea coming. There's a crawfish boil out at the Charleston Country Club May first. You guys right. have a big deal coming up. Two a, weeks. Just about a, a month from now. A, a month from now, but following that crawfish right. boil, uh, May Thursday, May 13th, is our uh, SEMO Electric Cooperative Annual Meeting. Right. Um, and we're going to do that out at the rodeo grounds this year, Reed. Um, we did it at the TRC parking lot. Kind of like the outdoor feel of that. Didn't know how to plan for that this year. So we wanted to do a little bit of a blend, keep it outside, um, have it at the rodeo grounds to handle the traffic a little better. Sure. Uh, there are sandy soil out there. You're going to be able to come rain or shine. We're going to be there have an annual meeting. Uh, you can come at 10 in the morning and do that business. Come back later for entertainment, which starts at 2. And again, we're going to start the actual business meeting portion of that at six wrap it up by seven clean up the grounds be out of there by nine a uh, big day to be involved with SEMO electric cooperative your member owned electric cooperative in this part of the world and of course kymo we're going to be there on location broadcasting live that afternoon uh, reminding people to come by talking with different right. members right. people you know just uh just get well kinda, just kind of having a good old fashioned it, family home it is now. it is Reed. and uh again uh, uh maybe a, a little bit of a, a thursday night lead into the weekend right sure. because um other than maybe a little bit cool this it, it's hoodie and shorts weather it's spring it's right. really nice out but by then it could be <laughs> it could be 70 degrees yeah or yeah. more <laughs> you know we've been um, swatting skeeters that's by right around here. right and um you know what it, it it's just part of what we do and what we want to continue doing right, right. and again pumping that local theme our uh, our local uh um Station Local 95, um, coming out of basketball, heading into some uh, summer events. We're really looking forward to a big spring and summer. The areas we're rolling out, we're starting to uh, uh, cut some uh, areas loose up around our Delta substation area, the right. long-awaited Delta substation area here in our Anniston substation area, kind of wrapping East Prairie if you're a SEMO Electric member or if your neighbor is a member and you're interested in services, call us, let us know. We'll... Um, if I can reach you with a drop, um, we're going to we're going to figure out a plan. Interesting. Yeah. Well, because I know that had come into play. You know, yep. well, uh, here's the line. That's right. My friend over here is getting right. these wonderful services from Go Simo Fiber and Simo Electric. I'd like to have that Simo right. Fiber, and can I get it? And and there is that possibility. That's right. Sometimes that answer is no, but in a lot of cases, again, if your neighbors within, uh, we'll we'll say a thousand feet for mm -hmm. whatever reason, if you can. Uh, if you can kind of give us some addresses and locations, even if you're a non-member, we're interested to uh, to see if we can make that happen. Well, I mean, if you want to know, you know, just how good it sounds or whatever, again, you can go to Shotgun Radio 971 because the stream there is powered by GoSimo Fiber. You can hit the little red arrow, poof, and you're on the air and streaming. Outstanding. Uh, it is crystal clean. It is there. It is fast. And that's what it's all about is fast. And, again, we've been talking about this because the pandemic really brought to life. Right the need for what we're doing. Right. I mean, we're already talking about possibilities of schools maybe keeping a virtual Absolutely. day in their Re school. You know, the, there's so many facets to the, this. The data that is coming in is really phenomenal about uh, how data usage went, uh, obviously, through the roof. But oh, it's like four, eight, ten times yep. the amount of data needs in rural America. You know, forget you know the urban population centers and things that are that are that you knew would spike like that right um but but the amount of devices in your home every time you cart in a new uh, refrigerator washer dryer any appliance now read it's going to be uh it's going to be smart equipped mm -hmm. your phone is hooking up as soon as you walk in the door there's a lot more going on in your own home now than uh, than a person would have even paid attention to 18 months ago, much less that right. that need for the uh, the data to be flowing and uh, a, a perfect timing situation for us to have kicked this thing into gear and got this build out taken care of. Again, we've said it uh, many times, but kudos to our board of directors mm -hmm. for speaking this thing into being in 2017, just about 
four years ago to the day and uh, making this thing a reality. Well, I know farmers that can check power units right. from home. I know kids that are doing the homework now. They can look at their assignments, you know, whether they, maybe they've been quarantined or maybe it's just a virtual type of school day right. for them. I know people that are actually conducting major business, not just, uh, well, I'm home today. Right. I mean, they're actually That's now right. have migrated to their homes and they're working out of their homes. Ag, ag lenders, insurance folks yes. read so much of that stuff. Lawyers. Can be lawyers. Um, just that work that can be done at home. Uh, virtually, right? Yes. So the, a VPN tunnel was a spooky, mysterious thing back in the day. It is so common now, Reed, yep. and and you're tapped into your virtual secure work network vis-a-vis uh, -vis a VPN tunnel to your home. Um, and, and the things that, that can be done effectively, again, not just piddling or, or messing a little bit or checking some emails. Right. We're talking real live eight hour a day work, right? Think about this. All the things now that have come into play, and you have to have a reliable network to to work these things. Securities. Hey. Your rings or whatever else That's it right. may be that you now have if you don't have a good solid network of data to That's support right. that. Well, what's the point of having the camera and, if it's not going to record it? And anything? not going to record or not going to work. And, right. and there's some other, I, I guess, exciting news. Just talk to some of our uh, partners in that realm that, that we're even going to be able to lean into a little a little further later this year. Some some Q3 releases we're, we're going to be excited to offer. Excellent. As well as, because we're finishing our major build Mm -hmm. Read the uh, as we finish Delta Wolf Island, um, those builds finish up this spring, early summer, um, and it it changes that for us, right? Because we've just been building, 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 and uh, effectively picking off the uh, low hanging fruit. So our marketing, our uh, our attempts to reach people, some of that's going to start to change. We may be doing a little door to door visits. We may be, again being out at these festivals and things. It's important. To your electric co-op, that, that's the thing. This is your member-owned, local electric cooperative-owned subsidiary. Right. And its benefits stay right back in the area. None of, none of this is leaving the area, Read our, our local taxes, uh, Scott County sales tax, or I'm sorry, property tax, paid in the, uh, say, the $300,000 annually range mm -hmm. in Stoddard County. And that repeats itself in Mississippi and New Madrid. And it's really important to kind of keep banging that drum that this thing stays right in the area. And even if even if you're happy with your direct TV, you're not watching the Cardinals on that anymore. <laughs> um, well, there's that, yeah. and, right. and that's a really big deal. Becky and I have been really churning up the TV subscriber rates lately because Cardinal baseball started two weeks ago. And, and right. we're we're carrying that and kind of carrying it proudly. The 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 things that go into this network, um, and again, are the local ownership that going back to the annual meeting, if nothing else, if you're happy with that, come out and tell your local board member, right? Thanks, you know. Miss uh, Judy Finley, who watches with us every week, said she is getting closer to Wi Fi. <laughs> Met with a super nice tech yesterday for a flag appointment. For a flag appointment, so there probably up around the Delta area. Yep, she's on somewhere. our 2E outside of Chaffee. Okay, outside of Chaffee. Um, Good morning. Good and, and that reaches all the way over to Commerce Reed yes. um, and, and that Roth Drive Hill area, kind of between Commerce and Scott City. Mm -hmm. Again, we tend to have to wrap a lot of our towns because of um, Ameren, um, um, UE. Yeah, sure. we, we can't do some things in those specific towns, but those folks have a provider of record, you know, whether it be Charter or Spectrum or New Wave, Sparklight, whoever that is. A little bit the same story in East Prairie, but um, who knows what's going to come in the future, right? We get this thing big enough and good enough, and we're, um, we're kind of a wide-open local let's do this thing well and that's the and that's all about it you know it, it is here it is working you know there's obviously with anything technology Absolutely. is always going to have so some hiccups few blips. here and there yep Again, that's a great word a few blips i mean you know it happens on on it doesn't matter it's it, you get a brand new car it can have a blip in that's the right. engine it, it just happens but overall everyone i've talked to is just couldn't be happier right. from where they were to where they are now with go fiber and again the 
Simo Electric annual meeting, a great time to get out, see some people, wave, do whatever you need to do, and voice your pleasures. Or it's like, hey, well, yeah. what if we could twist this a little bit? That's right. Tweak that a That's little right. bit. That's your, what it's all about. Your, your democratic, democratically, I don't right. want to say democrat, democratically <laughs> controlled board of directors that right. governs your electric co-op um, and, and I'm not going to name the board members because I'll forget somebody in the area. But, I would do the but same thing. Um, you know, Mr. Bledsoe from the Charleston area, right. um, yeah, you come do the annual meeting and, and see him, visit with him, you know, bend his ear a little bit if you need to. Or, again, nothing more than a honk and a wave at that point. Brothers Walker is going to be there for entertainment in the afternoon. Pull over a while and listen. Stay all afternoon. Bring a chair. Bring some snacks. Do what you want to do, um, or simply just come and participate in that voting and the things that go on um, that that annual meeting type business that was set up so long ago still has to happen. We've still got to have that quorum read, and um, again, we put on the event to at least kind of make that appealing to come sure. to to participate in the actual business. Well, folks, we're going to wrap up here on this uh, Wednesday chat. We're going to chat again next Wednesday. That's right. We're going to we're going to um, come back Wednesday. Come yeah. out and see us. Yeah. We're kind of looking. Uh, crap, we got a parade to, to get exactly. to go to. That's parade awesome. Parade this weekend <laughs> that you're going to be at will be there, too. May 13th, though, for USEMO Electric, folks. That's the annual meeting. It's a Thursday. It's going to start at 10. It's going to go all day. But, you know, hey, you can't get there early. We'll then come on in That's the right. afternoon. It's going to go till 7 o'clock. That's right. Awesome. Thank you. To Thanks good for to see you. you. Becky, it's good to see you behind the camera and everything else. She's getting really good at that. That's right. Handy. <laughs> She's, there you go. Handy. All right, folks, that's our Go Simo Fiber Simo Electric Wednesday chat here on Just Another Morning Show. We've got some rain still in the area.